Well, that little exercise of describing how to execute the assignment statement was very educational. Many of you didn't know exactly what we were asking for. Others knew, but admitted not knowing what to say. Others wrote something that had nothing to do with the question. Some got it right. It's good that we asked. We instructors learned a lot, and now we get to dispel misconceptions and build understanding. The first question was, how do you execute or carry out the assignment statement variable becomes expression semicolon? There are two different issues with a statement. One, is it syntactically correct? Two, how was it executed? When describing how to execute a statement, we automatically assume that it is syntactically correct. Otherwise, how could it be executed? We focus on only one thing, how to execute that statement. For example, since we're talking about the Java assignment statement, we assume that the variable was already declared and that the type of the expression is appropriate for the type of the variable. Here is how the assignment statement is executed. Evaluate the expression and store its value in the variable. That's all there is to it. Now suppose we have a variable x. Note that this is Java and not Python. So box x contains the value and not a pointer to the value. To execute the assignment statement, x becomes x plus 2, semicolon. We evaluate the expression x plus 2, resulting in the value 7, and store the value in box x. Thus, we cross out the value 5 and store the value 7 in the box. Since a variable can hold only one value, the old value is removed. It's wrong to draw another box named x with the value 7 in it. There is only one box x and its value is changed. Drawing another box will lead to misconceptions about how the assignment statement is executed and it may result in your making errors when trying to figure out how to write or debug a particular program.